We're joined by Connie Moore, President and CEO of BRE Properties and the current Chair of NARI. Connie, thanks for joining us. Tell us a little bit about what BRE Properties does. You know, BRE is a West Coast centric um, company, California principally, 90 or 83% of our NOI comes from California. Um, the balance of our portfolio is really up in Seattle. Um, we go as far east as Denver, but our Denver and our Phoenix assets are in a form of joint venture. And BRE is a developer. We have about a um, billion dollars in our development pipeline, not all under construction, um, much of which is still going through the entitlement process. But development is a way that we can, one, improve the age of our portfolio um, and build where our customers want to live. And how would you describe your strategy in dealing with the current dislocations in the financial markets? I think in any, any capital dislocation like we're having right now, um, I think for all companies it's about risk management. Um, and really capital preservation. We believe it's a recession and then it's not going to go into a depression. So we don't really need to change our strategy, but we've had to take some tactical steps to, to really make sure that we could have that capital preservation and the liquidity so that when we come out of this, we're positioned for those opportunities. And really one of the first things that we did was really dealing with the development pipeline I talked about. Um, and so what we did, we, historically in development in California, you want to get to the start as quickly as possible. So you do a bunch of your entitlement work sort of in a parallel track. We decided to change that and move in a sequential pattern. So what that's done, it has pushed out our development starts. And so it allows us to continue to work on the entitlements, but not really have to start a transaction until we see a little bit more of improvement in the economy. So that was sort of the first step. Secondly, um, we identified some sites that we said, you know, we have a, the pipeline had got about as big as a billion and a half. And we looked at some sites and we said, you know, we're going to need to, as I said internally, we're going to need to get a little love from those sellers or those cities. And if we can't, and through continued negotiations, if we couldn't retrade some of those transactions, it didn't make sense for us to start um, because we wanted to make sure that any development that we do is accretive to shareholders. Um, so we abandoned three sites at the end of the year. And so we took a charge of $5 million at the end of 2008. Tough decision. We'd not really done that, certainly under my watch. Um, but it was the right decision to do. And then having done that, then the last thing we needed to do and to address our, um, our um, development pipeline was to, re, to re, um, reset the development staff. So we, we laid off about 36% of our development staff, kind of right-sized the organization for, for, for the way we see us moving forward in development. And how did BRE deal with liquidity concerns? In terms of liquidity, um, we completed at the very end of the first quarter, beginning of the second quarter, we just raised $620 million um, from Fannie Mae. Um, and that was really part of a broader strategy that we have executed over a number of years. BRE has always kept a very low amount of secured debt as a percentage of total debt and a percentage of gross assets on its balance sheet. And so we were down to about 5%. And that was a key component of our strategy because we always knew that there are always periods of time where there's a dislocation in the capital markets. And so you always want to be able to use your balance sheet as dry powder so that in the event that the capital markets are closed, you have access to continue to run your business because particularly when you're a developer, you can't stop and start development. So once you've started, you want to be able to continue it, you need to have access to capital. So when we saw this dislocation in the market, and we said, the, and obviously the unsecured markets were particularly pricey and really closed for a period of time, we accessed the, the secured market. And so we raised $620 million with Fannie Mae. And immediately following that, we then um, tendered for a large amount of our debt that's coming due. And so we tendered for about $470 million of our 9s, 10s, 11s, and 13s. And we actually internally called that project Plow the Road. So we wanted to plow the road, clear it out, so that we could have the time to deal with the financial crisis. And so we, so we, we tendered for about $470 million. So we paid off 6.5% coupon, replaced it with 55 So it was accretive to the income statement. Didn't really do too much for our leverage because it was debt for debt. Um, but we are now sitting in a situation where we really have no meaningful maturities until 2012. Um, in 12, we've got our, our converts that come due. We've got the put date um, and our line of credit. But we have three years to, do to, to work on that. Um, so that, was, that put us in a terrific liquidity position. Thanks, Connie. For more information on this and other REIT news and analysis, check out REIT.com.